What's your weirdest sexual fantasy that you'd like? Matthew, <laughs> that you'd like to chat? No, up? that you'd like to try with me. Hey welcome guys, back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. Just do it. Just go. Welcome back to our channel. Lion here, and welcome back to I'm my Lion here, <laughs> and Matthew and there. Matthew here. That's so, so awkward. Just do welcome back to our I channel. I don't like it, so I'm not gonna do something I don't like. Don't do stuff. Don't give it to peer pressure, guys. So we're doing a compatibility test. So we just have to re-record this because Matthew didn't know what we were doing. So there is over 50 questions. So we're actually only gonna pick. I'm thinking maybe like five each. Scroll through and just pick one. Okay. So I'm gonna. Pick my five and pass to Matthew. And the whole point is this: there isn't really a point. It's just to discuss. Our if we're compatible, are we compatible? Probably not. Give us a thumbs up if you think me and Ryan are compatible, and simply click the X button if you don't. Just click, click. Don't click the X. Just click the thumbs up, even if you don't think me compatible. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my questions. What um, your what's your idea idea of a romantic vacation? My idea of romantic. Go first, Matthew. Santorini Beach with that bakery that we get so much food from. Drinks, chilling. The Santorini sunset that we had. Do you remember that time? Oh, I do. Oh, and we had cheese and wine. Wine mine would be because if you've took that, mine would be Hawaii. We're meant to be compatible if it's the same thing. If we guess the same thing, I'm gonna say Hawaii then. <laughs> Because I want, I, that's, that's why I went on a honeymoon. But you've never been, so how do you know it's romantic? Seen posters. What's the single most important thing for a relationship to be successful? Laughter. On. on. Oh, sh Can you avoid flirting if someone attracts flirts with you when I'm not around? Yes, because I'm an honest frog. Can you? I don't really get the question, can you If someone's flirting with you and I'm not there, are you going to flirt back? No. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why would you laugh at that when I just don't like cheats, Ryan? Get out. <laughs> I'll take it from here. I've got it. I've got it. That is ridiculous. <laughs> you would. I know what you're like, you sleaze. <laughs> Matthew, I wouldn't. You wouldn't be with me if I was like that. Comment down below if you're with cheats. Well, clearly you, you just failed the Love Island lie detector test. <laughs> I wouldn't cheat at all, don't be so stupid. You'd be dumb. Um, do you, do you say you'd be dumb? You'd be so oh. dumb to cheat, like. Yeah, I know, babe. Is it fine for a partner to use the toilet with the door open? Yes. yes! Oh my god, me and Matthew, we know people that together, and me and Matthew will hang around with them, and we'll discuss that they don't, like, fart, we or anything like together, me and Matthew get the calm. Like, they're so weird, aren't they? Mm. Like, we've even on the first day, I, I pissed in front of Matthew. Like, eh, eh. just how it goes. Well, this is a juicy one, and then we'll go on to you. Which love song best describes our relationship? Can't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. Do you know what mine would be? Give me a call. Do you know what mine would be? What is it? Mine would be Titanic. Because if you carry on like that, it'd be just going to fall and sink. We're going to sink. Boom, boom. You'll go. Is sex constantly pushing the boundaries or is it playing by the rules? <laughs> Playing by the rules. <laughs> Playing by the rules? <gasps> I don't know. Ooh, you're getting a bit shy. I like went to Amsterdam, you didn't want to go in the sex shop. You were a little bit shy, a little bit they shy. Were, some of the things in those shops were so big, they were bigger than my whole body. Um, what is your biggest sexual turn off? Why are you doing all the sexual I don't know, I keep seeing it, I see my, sex on my body. My, um, my sexual turn off is a smelly, smelly um, down below. <laughs> Not sure. My, you get a little bit shy. My biggest, <laughs> I never saw, I'm not the cleanest boy ever. I feel uh, like uh, my biggest turn off is boys that wear makeup. <laughs> Jokes. I, I feel like my biggest turn off is, I don't know what my biggest turn off is. You haven't got one, you're easy. Next. What's your weirdest sexual fantasy that you'd Matthew. like? Matthew! <laughs> that you'd like Who's to chat? No, up? that you'd like to try with me. Weirdest sexual fantasy? I can't, I'm not having this on camera. Do you want me to dress up as a king and you can be my slave? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
want to. Why shout and say it to them? Oh, sorry. I, I even forgot the cameras on. If someone at work was giving you sex eyes across the room, would you tell me, E.G. Grace? <laughs> <laughs> would you tell me? No. Why? I just wasn't your go. Why? Oh, I wouldn't tell you either. Why? Because you get all funny. You want me to like quit my job. You're a psychopath. Would you really? And you wouldn't want me to quit mine. You would like, oh babe, I found you this job as a cleaner. Well, you did work at a gay club for ages, and I. Was... Yeah, but that's when you didn't realise you loved me until you do. Um, can I just have one more? Go on then. Would you relocate for love? Yes. Would you? Yes. I want to move anyway. I want to explore different places. I want to go back home. No, that's you don't say explore places, Ryan. You just want to go back home. And I'm not sure how I feel about moving to Daventry, if I'm being quite honest. If you're having a bad day, would you want me to leave you alone or spend time with you and cheer you up? Spend time? No, no, I think you want me to- Why are you shouting? I it? want you to leave me alone for five minutes and then I want you to cheer me up. I want you to just leave me alone for the whole 24 hours. You, you are so annoying to be around. I am. Um, what kind of parent do you think you'll be? I always think about this. I think I would be a really fun, loving, like cool you'll kind be of such dad. A pushover. A pushover. Dad, can I have to smoke this cigarette? Go for it. <laughs> You're like, how many cookies do you want? On? And I'm like, you have two. Where is the whole? You know, when I went around Claire's the other day, and her son was crying for chocolate cake. You'd have given him the whole cake. And she was just like, just have it. Yeah. So funny. You'd give him the whole cake. What's the craziest thing you'd be willing to do for me? I'll kill someone. Um, well, I don't think I would go that quite far. I think, the cra I think the craziest I think thing- I you would. Matthew! Uh, would you kill for me? No. Why? Because it's so dangerous. Oh god, I'm such a bore. Probably skydive with you. <laughs> you know? If you were- if you were- that's bad answer. If you were convinced that I was making a bad decision, what would you do about it? Tell you to not do it. I'll tell you straight away. And the final last question, what are some annoying habits of other couples that irritate you the most? Couples that think they- Get Matthew's list out. Yeah, I'll be like, two seconds. Couples that think that they are- Oh, what's the word? Um, couples that think they are- What's that word? Begins with E. Emotional cause stable. No, couples that think they're elite. That uh, is such a smooth James Bond word. People always think they're like the elite, that they think that they're like, oh, they just think they're like the shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, minor nicknames. Or when they literally, Hi, bunny. When, when, you're you're literally waffles? when you're hanging around and they just like can't like interact with you because they're still just so involved. It's like, you don't need to be, they're there, you can still talk to me, like, you go home, like, it just annoys me, like, breathe and talk to someone else because they're right next to you still. That's probably mine. But we hope that you enjoyed this video. Something's really bothering me that I might have to show you. We basically brought this candle holder and can you see it's cracked in the middle from the heat? Oh my God. Is that a crack or is it a burn mark? Oh, maybe a burn mark. Maybe a burn mark. But we hope you enjoyed this video. And also, next Wednesday is the biggest announcement happening on this channel that you've ever, ever seen. So I hope don't build up too so I really much. hope that we get it all done by Wednesday and it if looks not, really good. If not, then it'll be on Sunday, but it'll probably be Wednesday. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you follow all our social media accounts down below because that's where the big reveal will and be. And it's going to be really good and we hope you enjoyed this video. Love you guys and see you soon. Mwah.